everyone should have either a picture graph or a bar graph, okay? You need to first decide and see how many students chose each subject. So Matthew surveyed a different class, so he's going to have a different number who chose math, and Sophia's going to have a number of students who chose math. They want to know the total who chose math from the two classrooms. So what do you think they're going to have to do first before they can do their picture graph or bar graph, Jocelyn? They're both going to have to add um, the both things up that they got. They're going to have to add up how many chose math in Matthew's class and how many chose math in Sophia's class, okay, before they can do anything. Questions before we begin? Are you going to make a chart of both all together? Together, yes. And you're each making, you're each making a graph, second graders. Tristan, we shouldn't be filling that out yet. You're each making a graph, the same graph for the same data, okay? All right, go ahead. You may work with your partner. Remember, partner voices. So we're going to have to write favorite subject. This is our title. <coughs> and then we write these. And we have to write on um, the bottom. We need to write. So at the bottom, we have to write where all the subjects are. On the side of this, we need to write number. Oh no, I need to write so. I'm going to steal this paper and write Number. Are you going to write subjects or something? Good. Number. So what are we doing over here with our graph so far? What are you filling out? I filled out the title. Write your title. The y-axis. Your y-axis, your label, good. And the... What are these called? The choices. The choices are the categories, great.